Hey guys, this is Adam Lee from Microsoft Gold Partner PEI. I'm going to quickly show you how to create a um, report with ConnectWise Report Writer. Um, within ConnectWise, if you go to Report Writer and select New Report, it'll bring you to this data sources page for a brand new report. So the easiest way to start is to go all the way to the bottom and click advanced what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to view all the data sources alphabetically so that should make things a little bit easier to find the exact data that you are uh, trying to put within a report um, so as i said we're going to look at uh, opportunities and i want to show how to create opportunities with uh, different columns and different information that you want to see so if you go to the data sources and go down to opportunities report which is this one right here. This is going to drag in every single opportunity from your ConnectWise. Now, going to summary, this is where you can title the report. So, opportunities, and then you can select the columns that you want to see of from the report. So, what I want to see is I want to see reports. Um, I want to see of the reports, I want to see the company name of the reports. I want to see the opportunity name. I want to see which sales rep it is linked to. I also want to see the expected close date. I also want to see the actual close date, date close. The difference between these two is expected close date is for forecasting. You can actually select that. A close date is when an opportunity is closed as won or lost. Um, it will time tag that. So it'll be the exact time that that is won or lost. That cannot be changed. I also want to go in here and I want to see the revenue, the total revenue of that. But you know, my organization doesn't really focus on total revenue, what we focus on is gross profit of each project. So to find gross profit, you're going to want to go down here. And as you can see, there is total cost. And then I'm going to want to go over to the right. And I'm going to want to select this gear option. Now in down here in expressions, you can actually put in a equation. So I want total revenue minus total cost. As you can see, these are also titled exactly how they are in the fields. You need to make sure that you do that. So I'm going to select this as OK. I'm going to change the description of this to, uh, let's change it to gross profit. I'm going to change this to account manager. Other things I would like to see is, you know, I'd like to see the status. So if it's won or lost or open. The other thing I want to see is I want to see the sales stage. So if it is open, is it in negotiation? Things like that. Now, once I have this selected, I'm going to go over and I'm going to select preview. But before I do that, I'm going to change this to dollar amount. I'm going to press preview. Now what this shows is, as you can see, this is every single opportunity I have in my organization. It's got the company name, it's got the opportunity name, account manager, expected close date, it's got the actual date that it's closed, and these are only going to be on one opportunity, as you can see. Now it's got the total revenue, and it also, as you can see, the gross profit, which is going to be less. That's going to be the revenue minus the cost. Um, it's got the status, and it's got the sales stage. Now this is showing again, every single opportunity. If you want to select specific opportunities, you want to go into this filter tab and you're going to want to start filtering by fields. So let's say I want to filter by, I want to select, let's say we want to go to sales rep and I'm going to select equals multiple and I can go in here and I can hold control and I can select multiple sales reps. So I want to see M. Dixon and M. Feehan. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say require. 
going to go down here. I also want to see, let's say, I want to see the status, and I want it to equal 1. And I'm going to take off the parameters, and I'm going to make this required. Now, basically what I'm showing is it's going to filter these opportunities by these two sales rep that have been marked as one with a status of one. So if we go to preview, as you can see, it's the status here is one and it's only have these two sales reps. Now going by the filter, you can also select, let's say I wanna see date closed in a time period, so I want to see within the last, let's say, 30 days. Uh, let's see, last 30 days. So now what this is going to show me is it's going to show every single opportunity of these two sales reps that has been marked as one and has been closed in the last 30 days. And I'm going to make this required, and I'm going to hit preview. And as you can see, this is my new list. Now, I can go in here and save this information and save this list. I can also go in and I can make a chart of it. I can show a bar chart of these two different account managers and how much each one is closed. Um, I can make a pie graph of uh, a couple different things of you know what companies were closed in on. Um, there's a lot of different options, and it's all based on the filters and the summaries tab. The data source is really just there as this is the information I'm trying to manipulate to get into my um, info. Now, if I click the Save As, I can save this under a different um, under a report, and I can now add it to a dashboard. Whether I want to add this specifically, this actual list, or I can add a list that shows. Um, you know, the actual uh, chart or, or bar graph or whatever that you want to create. Um, the nice thing about this for the time frame is that this time frame now is always going to show 30 days prior to what I have because of my filter. So this will be a living, breathing uh, chart that you can put on a dashboard. Um, and sorry, not chart, uh, a li living, breathing list. So you can always go back here and I can actually also go into summary and I could say, you know what, I want to add up the subtotals because I want to see what the amounts are. And as you can see right here, it's adding up the subtotals where it makes sense. So it's showing how much money my team has closed in the last 30 days. Um, if you have any other questions about this, we're happy to do more videos to show you more information on how to use um, ConnectWise Report Writer. Feel free to write in the comments section and uh, we'll try and accommodate everyone's questions and uh, new videos. Thanks, guys.